class today we're going to start with the discussion of a new chapter browning version right now here this is a play from your book monville okay and uh, uh, i think so few days ago we had discussed another play also that is mother's day and uh, we know that you know in a play because of the dialogues because of the situation how the story moves forward and of course how we are able to relate on a very important way of presenting a situation putting forth an idea now this play browning version what does it deal about it deals about a very important play it's about student teacher relationship okay the browning version why browning version the writer here he has modernized a greek tragedy and he has presented it in own way that is why browning version so it is browning's version of a greek tragedy and the non by silas okay so he has presented it in a modern context so if the tragedy would have been written then And this is just an excerpt from it. It's a very short, you uh, can say, extract from that play. It is not the complete play. Now, Frank and Chaplow. So Frank here is a science teacher. Chaplow is a student, and Doctor Harris is a classical literature teacher, and. This senior, very old teacher of the institute, and how it is you know, like there is not a single dialogue of Mr. Proctor Harris in this whole play, but it seems as if the whole play revolves around Mr. Proctor Harris. Okay, now here in the absence of teachers. So we know that in our school also there are strict teachers, there are lenient teachers. So how do students talk about their teachers? Is it always with respect? No. Is it sometimes in a casual manner? Yes. Sometimes too friendly? Yes. Sometimes you think they forget that uh, border of uh, that thin line which is there between a student and a teacher. The respect that they are show uh, to show, right? So, right, I think it's a very really far fetched approach in our case. I would just say that understanding one's needs, isn't it? Right. So, with some teachers, we are very really frank. We can talk over what we want to. With some students, we dare not even open our mouths. So, there are strict teachers. There are lenient teachers, right? And now, time the student relation. Student teacher relations, sorry, has changed a lot. Now, as students, what do you think? What has changed about the student teacher relation? What kind of teachers are you comfortable with? The team? You know, yes. What kind of teachers are you comfortable learning? If I talk about student-teacher relation, teacher who's strict but experienced, a teacher who's young, energetic but lenient. Which teacher we can have in our class? Okay, right. So here it is. You know, like we have teachers because of the experience, because they've been handling students for years, their behavior, their interaction with the students becomes quite strict. Sometimes your students they have that fear in their mind of the teacher. So should that fear be called be because the teacher punishes you? The teacher speaks rudely. What is it? Yes, can anybody tell me? Right? Have you been in the class and have got many responses from you? Anyone would like to say? What would make a very comfortable uh, situation in the classroom? The teacher is able to interact with the students. The teacher is able to understand the problems of the students. And now a days, yes, so many things have changed, right? So the student-teacher relationship has changed a lot, right? 
so uh, it is a uh, new it, it was in india uh, we had corporal punishment we had teachers being very rude and very strict to distance so that you know would not dare to speak in front of the teachers but now the scenario has changed okay right i will take to the subject that a teacher teaches it also makes it different the way the teacher interacts with students does it matter no i don't think the subject will make a difference the teacher is not going to be friendly the teacher is not going to interact so irrespective of the subject this is what the interaction is going to be like now this play it is about yes it's i would say the students of the point chaplo is a student right and he has not is not going to get remove that is his marks or his certificate because he had missed a class of mr proper harris now mr proper harris is a classical teacher he is a senior teacher okay that means it's clear he is a strict teacher and he is leaving the school It's his last day, and we think that when a teacher is leaving, the teacher would become a little lenient, might not be so strict about all the rules and regulations. Might, you know, like okay, fine, if I'm leaving, girl, let me be a little liberal with the students. But no, even till the last day, he followed all the rules and regulations of the school. So it was required by the student to do that work. And he has not relaxed the rules for his students even till the last day he was teaching. Chaplo is a student, right? And from the dialogues which he has with the teacher Frank, right? So Frank is a science teacher. He's a young teacher. He's quite friendly with the students, right? And the students like him. Students are afraid of Proctor Harris because he's very strict. He hardly interacts with the students. He's very particular about rules and regulations. Okay, right. This is what the story is about. This is what the play is about. It is about student-teacher relationship. Right. This is basic. What the extract is about. Is much bigger, much lengthier, and there are so many issues that are being discussed. Is this a little bit clear to you all before we start? Is it a little clear to you all? Yes. So please look at the play. Now here, this is an excerpt from the Browning version. The scene is set in a school. Frank is young and Proctor Harris middle-aged. Both are masters. Chaplo is a boy of sixteen who has come in to do extra work for Proctor Harris, but the latter has not yet arrived, and Frank finds Chaplo waiting. Now here is the last day. Right of the term. After that, what are the students going to get? They're going to get the results. They're going to get their, you know, certificates, and they're going to get their marks. But there are uh, certain uh, students here. We're still joining the class. Right. So there are, uh, you know, like what am I saying? Yes. So it's the last day. Everyone is going to complete the work, but Tapno, one of the students, he was absent for one day, and so what has happened is that he is supposed to do his work, right? And uh, he has come when no one is there in the school; only the teachers are there. So Tapno, uh, Frank, is a science teacher. He sees the student. Dialogue between both of them. They both have a conversation. Frank, do I know you? Who is Frank? 
Frank is a science teacher. He is a younger teacher, right? Chaplo is the student, and he is here because he missed his class. He has to his day that is missing. He has to do that to work. What's your name? Chaplo. Chaplo. No, I don't. You are a scientist. I gather because Frank is a science teacher, so he knows the science students. Chaplo is a student of literature, right? And he is studying from Mr. Proctor Harris. Okay. No, sir. I am still in the lower fifth. I can't speculate until next term. That's to say, if I got my removed, all right. So he's saying I can't decide right now. I'll be deciding in the next term, right? So what I am going to opt for is it going to be science or is it going to be humanities or arts or languages, whatever. Don't you know if you've got your remove? So remove, I've not got my result. I've not got my marks. I don't know where I stand. No, sir. Mr. Crocker Harris does not tell us the results like the other masters. Mr. Crocker Harris is very particular about rules and regulations. He will not tell the result before hand. Okay, right? Other teachers do that. They might share with the students, but with Mr. Crocker Harris, no. See, we do discuss things that okay, teachers are strict here, they don't tell anything and all. We like teachers who are lenient, who might be a liberal, talk on in fact with you all. But in our heart of hearts, we always appreciate people who are particular, who are dedicated towards their duty, who are dedicated towards their work. Don't we? Do you like people who do their work properly? Yes or no? Can I get a response? We do? Yes, we do. Isn't it? Right? Because they set a good example for us. We have learned from our seniors. We learn from the way they behave. We learn from that. And yes, it's very important here that everybody needs to be dedicated towards their work. And uh, naturally, if someone is not devoted, is it not particular about the work, it is not going to be good for us also. Right? Why not? Well, you know what he's like, sir. I believe there is a rule that four results should only be announced by the last day of term. So Frank says, I know there's a rule that only the last day the results should be announced. He knows the rule. How many follow it? Okay. Yes, but who else pays attention to it except Mr. Crocker Harris? Who else pays? Mr. Crocker Harris is a very particular teacher. He's a very strict teacher. Who else pays attention? He pays attention. I don't, I admit, but that's not criteria. So you've got to wait until tomorrow to make a speech, have you? I've already put my students there, you know, what. Uh, Standing in the class, they got their rules, all right. So you think you have to wait till tomorrow? Yes, sir. Supposing the answer is favorable, what then? Oh, science, sir, of course. Yes, we get all the slackers. What are slackers? People who are slow in the world, people who are not very responsible. Why does Frank get the impression that Taplo is a slacker? Why does Frank get the impression that Taplo is a slacker? Can you give me the answer? Why is Taplo here in class day? Because he missed his class, his work is not complete, he has to complete his work. Right? What impression does it give on the teacher? That this child is careless, this child is irresponsible. No matter how bright that child may be, how good that child may be, but we see someone submitting the work on the very last moment. What is impression? Oh, he's not serious. He's not concerned. Okay? So he said, yes, we get all the slackers. And what does uh, Jacko say? If my marks are good, if my result is good, I will get take up sciences. Now in this play, we are also going to discuss about the teaching of science and the teaching of literature.
how it becomes difficult or different it is you know and we assess teachers on the basis of that so teaching language is entirely different teaching sciences is entirely different okay okay so why okay i am extremely interested in this is not a slack i'm very interested in science are you i am not no not at least in the science i have to see the science teacher and i always talk about this subject he says of course i like science but i do not like what i have to teach in school because in the school and if you remember the chapter i am science in school do you remember the chapter so there i would write science he we had a problem because he was confined by the curriculum in science he wanted to study more but he could not i mean the teachers they were also bound by the curriculum right so here also what does uh, frank say that but not what i have to teach in the classroom okay like i like science but not to what the is discussed here well anyway so it's a good deal more exciting than this mark indicating yes that he has the literature book classical literature play that he is doing it's much more interesting than this you know uh, better than learning this literature mark not nice no what is this mark the shyness sir the agony and interestingly this play browning version is a twist or it is a modern version of this play itself agamemnon is a greek tragedy okay right so this play here agamemnon by shylock so the writer and you know the second view is that agamemnon is not a classic you call him a monk he says worthless well you know sir i don't think the play is monk exactly i suppose in a way it's rather a good plot really a wife murdering her husband and all that right so that is a tragedy you know the wife is unfaithful and she murders her husband i only really make the reading stop to us just a lot of greek words come together and 50 lines if you get them wrong so he says i don't like the way it stops right and here it is what a, you we just have to write a name and a name and a name and that's it plays can be taught in an interesting way literature can be taught in a much interesting way okay do you agree or not see yes so no are we awake give me a sign you're awake you're listening yes you think there is a difference in the way science is taught and there is a difference in the way literature is taught yes anybody would like to give me the answer would like to give the answer can i have a response please no ma'am you can't have a response because we do not get answers in the class and in online class is no 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 don't ever ask us You sound a little bitter, Taplo. I am rather, sir. He's angry, you know. Like why he's decided because his teacher behaved with me like that. Maybe that is what made him change his mind. I am not going to study literature. I need to offer science. At least maybe the science teachers are better. They won't make me do extra work. They won't make me stay back, and they will not punish me for having missed a class. Just a lot of Greek words strung together. Lines we get them wrong. You sound a little bit unhappy. I am rather so. Kept in a no, sir. Extra work. Kept in punished. No, only when it's extra work. Extra work on the last day of school. Yes, sir. And I might be playing more. You think he have enough to do anything himself? Considering he is leaving tomorrow for good. But oh no! I missed a day last week when I was ill. So here I am. And look at you, really, sir. And yes, what is Tapper saying that uh, I have to do extra work because I missed a class last week and Mr. Crocker has to do this class day. 
And you would think that the costs of last day will be inconvenient. You might be, you know, like leave on a good note, but no, he's following all the rules and regulations to the last minute. And look at the weather outside, it's so nice, and you go out and play ball, right? But he can't do that because, once again, if Mr. Crocker Harris comes, finds that the child has not come, he will not get his removal, he will not get his marks, he will not be going to the next term. That enough. Still, this one comfort, you're pretty well certain to get your removal tomorrow for being a good boy and taking extra work. The one thing is certain you get your removal tomorrow. Well, I'm not so sure that would be true of the ordinary masters, all right. They just wouldn't dare not to give the chap a remove after his taking extra work. But those sort of rules don't apply to the crop, Mr. Crocker Harris. I asked him yesterday outright if he'd given me a remove, and you know what he said, sir? He said for other teachers it would be okay. You talk about ordinary masters. You think, okay, I've come here, I've done the extra work, and they're going to give me my results more. But not with Mr. Crocker Harris. No, that man is so strict and so unpredictable. You never know what he might say and what he might do. Okay? No. What? Imitating a very gentle, rather throaty voice. My dear Taco, I have given you exactly what to do, sir. No less and certainly no more. I have given you exactly what you deserve, no less and certainly no more. Do you know, sir, I think he may have marked me down rather than for taking extra work. I mean, the man's hardly human. He breaks off quickly. Sorry, sir, have I gone too far? This paragraph is very, very important. One, it talks about how students imitate the teachers. It's quite common. Yes, so we all are there quite capable of imitating our teachers. Isn't it? We do. Yes, we do. And secondly, it is in the absence of one teacher. Do we discuss other teachers? You know, like, of course, I'm here and you'd like to talk about another teacher. Would you do that? Given the opportunity. So here it is, we have to see that how students, they imitate the teachers, how they talk about a teacher with other teachers. Right? Is it right? Is it wrong? Entirely, yes, fine. If you have a problem, or yeah, but one thing is there, yes, uh, even other teachers, they should not encourage the students to talk about. It is very important that all teachers be respected. Okay? But Taplo is very upset. He's thinking, even if I'm present today, I'm doing extra work, I have no guarantee at all that I will be given credit for this because Mr. Crocker Harris is very unpredictable. He is a very strict teacher, okay, right? So he is there, not quite sure what to think of the teacher. Is it clear? Can you stop here? I, I think we'll stop here for the day and we'll continue tomorrow, okay? All of you.